Jay, congratulations on, on getting to the Western Conference Finals after you already been to the Eastern Conference Finals. The year before. Uh, just want to just ask just about seeing Chris Paul and, and, and him doing what he does, but maybe but going to an even higher level in this game tonight. Close out game, you can definitely feel the intensity of the game. And you can tell our, our intensity as a group, but he, he definitely led us in that, in that aspect of, uh, of just being able uh, to play within a lot of it's a closeout game, so it's a lot of emotions, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of guys who want it. So we just did a good job of coming us calm, calming us down when we got a little sped up a little bit. And I think he managed the game the, the entirety of the game. So uh, he did what Chris Paul does, and that's point guard, point guy, whatever you want to call him. He controlled the game the, the, the entire game. Next up is Cam Cox from Twelve News, followed by Greg Moore. AJ, congratulations on the series sweep. Can you just speak to what this team has been able to accomplish, especially? in this series to move on? I mean, how impressive, you've been on a lot of teams, championship teams before, just how impressive is what this team is doing right now? I mean, it's very impressive how locked in we are as a unit. I mean, all five guys on the court are on the same page at all times, and I think that's key. You have We have uh, great leadership. Uh, we have great coaching who's putting us in position to succeed right now. And, and I think guys are doing a good job of just doing their work early, studying what they need to study, and come out being prepared each and every game. And that's all you can ask from, from, from our, especially our young guys who this, uh, this is their first time being in the playoffs. So uh, I definitely feel like we're connected as a group, and, and, and it shows, especially when the game gets tight. We have full faith in one another uh, to make the right play. Uh, I mean, I think we're just playing the right way and playing free, playing for one another. Next up is Greg Moore from the Arizona Republic, followed by Joven Buha. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, listen, you were in the middle of that scrum with Jokic, and we've been talking all season long about poise, especially with the Lakers series and all. I'm trying to figure out what it feels like to be in a moment that, that is that intense, and you're trying to actually keep things cool without escalating things. Tell me about what that feels like to be in that scrum. I mean, it's basketball. You have you have little scrums when you grow up a little bit. It's just not on the stage of the NBA. So uh, just emotions running high. I mean, I'm sure no one was – trying to do anything intentional. It just emotions got the best of us. Uh, I mean, I think I just came in trying to just diffuse the situation a little bit because I know I have the utmost respect for your uh, Joker, and I think Book was just protecting Cam. I, I didn't see the play, so it caught me off guard when I saw the scrum. I just ran late trying to protect my teammates, and that's all. But it just that's what you expect out of the playoffs. It's just a lot of emotions from both sides of the ball, and you just try to manage that as best as possible and have your teammates back. Next up is Joven Buha with The Athletic, followed by Tim Reynolds. Hey, Jay, uh, you guys have gone from sixth in defensive rating in the regular season to second in the postseason. Uh, I'm curious, what type of progress or growth have you seen in the defense from going from an already elite one to basically the, the best or second best in the league right now? Yeah, I think we just came into the postseason and we just tightened up our screws a little bit um, on, on, with, with the stuff that we've been doing all year long. Uh, we just want to do it at a higher level. I just think that the playoffs brought that out of us. Uh, we've been put to, to the test with some challenges, but we've overcame them, and we've been playing some good offensive teams. And um, these past two series, I mean, you could look at the two teams that they have offensive uh, power. So we've done a good job of just sticking to the game plan, talking it out, uh, watching film, and, and coming up with a game plan with our coaches, and then going on the court and applying it. So um, I just feel like, the, like it goes back to our connectivity, um, I, us all being on the same page and, and fighting for the same goal. I just feel like... It has paid off this postseason, and we can still, we got to continue to do that uh, to get to where we want to be. Next up is Tim Reynolds with Associated Press, followed by Kirsten Susel. Hey, Jay, congrats on going back to the conference finals. I, I wanted to ask you, it's kind of in two parts. The bubble experience last year, even for a seasoned pro like you, what did that do as far as your growth and for the kids that are on your team now, those kids that went 8-0 in the bubble last year, how much do you think that set the tone what you guys are trying to accomplish now? I mean, I think that helped. For sure, that helped a lot. The bubble, I mean, mentally, it was a challenge for me. It wasn't so much of the game of basketball. It was just the mental part of being away from family, uh, being, being in, a, in a restricted area for, for, for myself, 96 days. I spent 96 days in there playing the last final game. And it just got to be tough mentally a little bit. But other than that, it definitely helped me grow. Uh, it helped me lock in on my, on my, on my, my, uh, my game a little bit. I was able to get, go to the gym. Uh, multiple times throughout the day because I just uh, felt like it was the only thing to keep my mind where it needs to be, keep keep me in my, my sanity. So I just felt like 
the bubble helped growth and with my mental. And I think for our younger guys here, it just prepared us for this moment a little bit um, because these guys were eat hungry to be in the playoffs last year. It fell short a little bit. Um, a couple of guys came over with me and myself and Chris, and, and we got Tori Craig. We got a couple of guys, and we were able to put some something special together. And I, I feel like what, what they wanted, what they wanted last year, fell, fall, falling short of, what the, of the goal, definitely helped us uh, in this moment and, and to, to try to continue to win games in the playoffs once we got our foot in the um, playoff door. So I think each guy on our team is we want it. We want to be in, in that moment, the big moment, and we want to um, come out on top. So we're putting the, putting the work in each and every day to just try to come out on top. Our last two questions are going to be with Kirsten Susel from 12 News, followed by Cody Cunningham. Hey, Jay, kind of a similar question. I remember talking to you when you first got to Phoenix and talking about your journey to get here and everything you've been through in your career and, you know, you making the decision to come here based on the belief of where this team could go. Um, and now you guys are making the run in the postseason. What's this ride been like for you? I look like a genius, huh? I know I look like a genius a little bit with my decision. When I made the decision, you, could, you should have saw how many text messages I got. Like, what am I doing? Why are you going to Phoenix? They haven't made the playoffs in 10 years. I just feel like um, I just knew what type of group this, these guys were. I, I felt like they were hungry. Uh, they, wanted to, they wanted to do uh, some special things, and I just want to be a part of it. Uh, and I honestly feel like it, it's all coming together for, for not only myself, but for our team and for our organization because – uh, everybody's on the same page. We're all fighting for the same goal. I mean, you got a lot of selfish guys on our team, and you see how we play each and every night. We play for one another, and it's definitely beneficial for us to, 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 to win games, especially in the postseason. So um, the bubble, it, I mean, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy it happened, obviously, especially for this group uh, to just uh, have some, some, some type of taste of success leading up into this year. So... Uh, to keep us going, I feel like it's going to be beneficial for us to just stay together and be collective, locked in, and, and take it one game at a time. Our last question is with Cody Cunningham with Suns.com. Hey, Jay. Uh, with about three minutes left in the game, Mikel made an off-bound save, you know, diving out of bounds, and he was able to find Chris for the fast break, uh, and that put you guys up by 11. Uh, just how critical are those little hustle plays that lead to the overall victory? I mean, we talk about it all the time. We talk about 50-50 balls and uh, little, little, little things that lead up to the big things, and that's, that's W. So uh, we definitely, it's definitely on our conscience to lock in on the little things, the small aspects of the game, diving on the floor, wanting more than the other team, 50-50 balls, uh, helping your teammate. And those things we talk about on a daily basis. So it, it's no coincidence that, that you saw that uh, Kale did that, and it was definitely a good momentum swing for us. Uh, but we definitely talk about that. We, we, we come into the game, we try to win that stat uh, against the opposing team because that ultimately leads to uh, victories, especially on the road in a closeout game. Thanks for the time, Jay. Thank you, guys.